Although he may have played the Wolf of Wall Street role better than anyone else could have, in reality you can call him the Wolf of Los Angeles real estate. Leonardo DiCaprio has used his fortune to buy and sell plenty of million dollar mansions over the years. At the moment, he owns a few properties in LA and New York and rents some of them out. I've been getting a few requests for a Leonardo DiCaprio house tour, so today we're going to take a look at the place he currently calls home, some of his other properties, and more. Leonardo DiCaprio is one of my favorite actors, and I know a lot of you guys would agree. Aside from his A-list acting, he's also a producer and an environmentalist, which can explain why he's planning on opening an eco-lodge, but I'll get into that a little later. At the time of this recording, he's 45 years old, and he's been in the business since he was just a kid, and was working even before his memorable role in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Theo played so many iconic roles that got him nominated for Oscars, including The Legs of the Aviator, Blood Diamond, The Wolf of Wall Street, and many more, but it seemingly took him forever to get recognized. Finally, with The Revenant, he got one. Leo was also the founder of Appian Way Productions, which has produced some of his films, as well as the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, which is a non-profit organization devoted to promoting environmental awareness. He's used a lot of his fame to bring awareness to causes he's passionate about, has produced several documentaries on the environment, as well as regularly supports these causes. Among his many accomplishments, Leo's films have earned over 7 billion worldwide so far, and he's been placed time and time again on the list of the world's highest paid actors. Taking all this into consideration, his current net worth is at an estimated $260 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys requested this one and I was super into it, so today we're seeing where Leonardo DiCaprio lives, including his LA house, some of his other multi-million dollar homes he rents out, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Ben Affleck and Brad Pitt, and we'll have links to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. We'll start with Leo's Malibu real estate. I found this part kind of confusing because he's bought and sold a few properties here in recent years. Back in 1998, Leo bought this house on the fancy stretch of Carbon Beach, also known as Billionaire's Beach, for $1.6 million. Malibu prices these days are extremely expensive and you'll need multi-millions to buy anything here. It's also a celebrity favorite along the beach. Leo's Malibu Cottage was 1,675 square feet of living space with three beds and two baths laid out at a bungalow style. Although the size is humble, it's been well preserved and updated through the years. Leo would put this place up for rent at one point, asking between 23 k to 50 k per month. When he put it on the market, he first asked over 10 million, but then lowered it to a price of around 9 million. Either way, that's quite the profit. His previous Malibu cottage had a gorgeous courtyard leading to a beach and private hot tub on a big ocean front deck. Inside, the decor was bright and clean with an indoor and outdoor vibe and plenty of ocean views all around. Although this home was far from mansion, size, Leo made sure there was complete privacy and a gated entryway. Leo also sold another Malibu house, but this one was much larger. He was able to pocket over $17 million on the sale, and he only paid $6 million for it back in 2002. He rented it out too while it was on the market for a price of $175k per month. Luxurious Estate had three separate buildings, including a four-bedroom main house, a two-bedroom guest house, and a loft with an extra bedroom, gym, and office or media room. They all sat on one large lot spinning 2,633 square feet, complete with a gorgeous garden and lawn. Leo also had a beach facing deck, hot tub, spa, and fire pit. Some other features of this slightly more upscale Malibu home included private parking, maid quarters, and private beach entry. Although Leo decided to unload these properties, it would seem he wasn't done with Malibu quite yet. In 2017, he decided to invest in a piece of property on Malibu's Paradise Cove. Despite the fact that the small house spans a mere 610 square feet and is the size of a modest New York apartment, it sits on 1.76 acres of land and costs Leo a massive $23 million. The cliffside bungalow has only one bedroom, but he's in an exclusive neighborhood full of other celeb neighbors like Courtney Cox. 
Moving on, the most recent purchase reported by Leo in Los Angeles was a house in the Los Feliz neighborhood. Back in 2018, he bought a fully renovated mansion that used to belong to Moby. Los Feliz is a relaxed yet trendy area in LA that draws in a lot of up and comers and creative types. Not to mention, it's close to Griffith Park in the observatory, offering a ton of amazing hikes and scenery. Leo bought this traditional style home for just under 5 million and it sits on just under an acre of land in a hillside neighborhood. Although the house was built back in 1920, it underwent a two-year renovation and was reimagined with modern amenities, yet kept the original craftsmanship. It spans 4,644 square feet and has five beds and eight baths with two full master suites. His Los Feliz mansion is full of grand common rooms, high ceilings, and hardwood floors. Upon walking in the home, you're greeted by the large entryway and then to the dramatic living room complete with a fireplace. There's a state-of-the-art kitchen and pantry which connects you to the outdoor living area. Upstairs, the two master bedrooms come with fancy spacious bathrooms and walk-in closets. One even has its own study or yoga area, but from listing photos it looks like a mini yoga room. On the lower level of Leo's home, there's an assistant's office and guest suite that has a secret entryway, connecting you to another full bathroom and the steam room. Other features of the house include the gorgeous swimming pool and spa back that's surrounded by gardens and landscaping. There are plenty of tall trees surrounding the property, which is perfect for Leo considering he likes to stay far away from the paparazzi. These spots aren't all that Leo owns though. He loves his real estate and he's kept other properties and rents them out. First, there's his Hollywood Hills compound because every A-lister needs a place in the Hollywood Hills. At one time in the early 90s, Leo bought this home from none other than Madonna for somewhere between two and four mil. This mega mansion is the result of two neighboring properties merged together and Leo carried out a full renovation in order to create the ultimate palace. His compound spans 12,530 square feet with five beds and 8.5 bathrooms. Some features of the Hollywood mansion include a home movie theater, wine cellar, spa, and other fancy add-ons. Not to mention, outside there's a giant infinity pool, hot tub, full-size basketball court, and subterranean garage. Leo still owns his compound to this day, and although he doesn't rent it out to the public, he lets some of his actor friends use it as a crash pad from time to time. Even his buddy Toby Maguire lived here. Leo also maintains a large property in the vacation area of Palm Springs, which is a city in Southern California desert, best known for its hot springs, fancy hotels, spas, and of course, Coachella Valley. Celebs like Kris Jenner also own homes here. Leo bought the property in 2014 for just over five million, but staying at his ranch style estate will cost you 4,500 500 per night these days. The house spans 7,100 square feet of living space and sits on 1.34 acres of land, offering 6 beds and 7.5 baths. It's described as a mid-century modern gem. The house was built for actress Dina Shore back in 64 and has clearly been renovated since. Leo's Palm Springs home has light-filled interiors and expansive rooms ideal for entertaining, despite the fact it's a one-story house. There's a sunken living room with a fireplace, grand piano, and cocktail bar, as well as a formal dining room, kitchen with breakfast bar, and an office. The master suite has its own sitting room, and the bathroom has its own spa-like bath with two saunas. The main house has multiple terraces for dining and relaxing, and there's an additional guest house on the property with a kitchenette. Outside, there's a pool looking out into the mountains and a tennis court with enclosed pavilion. Leo's Desert Oasis is situated in a private enclave, so you can expect complete security. On top of these places, Leo owns some real estate away from California and in New York City. He owns a condo with the eco-friendly building, the River House, and Battery Park City that cost him almost $4 million, and a few years later purchased the neighboring unit for $8 million. This place overlooks the Hudson River and the building has a 50-foot pool, yoga studio, 24-hour concierge, and much more. Leo's place at the River House is not to get confused with the previous New York apartment he used to own at the Delos and Greenwich Village. He rented this out for a few years as a landlord and this building was also green. There are features like vitamin C infused showers, purified air and water, heat reflexology flooring, and a circulated aromatherapy air supply. Despite all those luxury accommodations, he ended up selling this one. So now we've gotten the rundown of Leonardo DiCaprio's properties, including the ones he rents out to guests and residents. I'm not sure which he spends the most time in, but I'm gonna guess the place he got in LA in 2018 since it's the most recent. I mean, he could be out in Malibu, but that house is tiny. If you guys know, be sure to tell me. What place did you guys like best about Leo's? I mean, he's a bit real estate obsessed, and with all those places, it's hard to choose, but I'd have to say the vacation home in Palm Springs. Not to mention, this environmentalist also owns his own island 
off of Belize on Blackador K he bought in 2005 just for 1.75 mil. And he's hoping to turn it into an eco resort. Although they were aiming to open in 2018, it's been postponed due to permits and stuff like that. Leo's Eco Lodge would be the first of its kind, fully powered by renewable energy, and guests can even participate in restoration projects if they choose. Word on the street is that it may open this year, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, guys, now read out some comments from previous videos. On our Mariah Carey house tour, Brandon Forrest wrote, Thank you so much for doing an Icons house tour. I definitely think her NYC penthouse was amazing. It was fit for a queen. And he also requested a house tour for Nicole Scherzinger. Thanks, Brandon. I love Mariah's penthouse too. On the same video, Justin Johnson commented saying, This is so far my favorite tour. Stay safe, Kara, and take care of Mike. Thanks, Justin. I appreciate it. I totally will, and you too. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Leonardo DiCaprio's multiple properties. I didn't know the man owns so much real estate, but I can't say I'm surprised. What did you like best about Leo's homes? I like the fact that even though he spends millions, many of the places he actually lives in remain somewhat humble. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!